The Godrich site task started about five weeks ago and uh, it started off with initial consultation with the end user, which is an Italian uh, charity called Emergency, who are going to be running the facility for the next year. From speaking to them, we were able to come up with the principles of the design and then actually produce the final design for the treatment facility. From that point onwards, uh, we then started the implementation of the, uh, of the construction task. That can be broken down into about six uh, phases. So the first phase was levelling the area. The second phase was doing the concrete pads. Third phase was building the superstructures up, actually coming up out of the ground, uh, followed by doing the electrical and mechanical installations throughout camp. The fifth phase was uh, commissioning and testing the whole site, which is where we're about at the moment, before we eventually do the handover to emergency, the end user, uh, and so they can actually take the task forward. So we're in the final week now of construction at Godrich site. What does that mean for us? Well, we will be handing over to emergency at the end of that week, so we need to make sure that all the mechanical and electrical side of the uh, construction has been tested and commissioned so it's in good order. For, uh, for emergency, the end user to take over. The success of the Godrich site has been dependent on a number of different organisations all pulling together in the same direction at the same time. And that's been demonstrated here at Godrich.